Hi, Dresser Cuties, Wayne here. Today we're going to draw Luca from Inquisitor Master. So let's get started. To draw cute Luca, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and I'm just going to draw a big curve for the top of his eye. And come right down. Then from there, I'm going to come right into the center area and I'm going to draw an oval. And then inside this oval, I'll draw another oval. So his eyes are very unique, right? <laughs> and then from there, at the bottom of this eye, I'm just going to lightly draw a soft curve. And then come right back here and just add in a little curve right on the sides. So he does have these white um, uh, lashes, right? But I'm not going to draw that in because it's just a little too much detail and it kind of gets complicated. But when you're coloring, you can just maybe add a little white area on top. Then from there, let's go ahead and we're going to draw the other eye. So I'm going to come right across. Uh, let's see how wide. Let's say about right here. Just give myself another point. And from there, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to follow that, draw a curve. About the same width, about right there. And then once again, right in the center, we're going to draw an oval. And another oval inside. For these very pale eyes. And then right at the bottom, once again, just draw a soft curve. And another one right here. And I'm just coming to the top and anchor these eyes by making this a little bit thicker. There. Now that I have his eyes in, let's go get, um, let's draw a big smile for him. So about right here in this area, I'm just going to go draw a curve, slant up this way, and then cap it off right here. And I'm just going to widen it up. Then from there, let's see here. Let's go ahead. We're going to frame his face. So let's get really close to his eye. So let's say about right here. I'll start and right here as well. I'm just going to give myself two points and I'm going to start to draw the bottom of a U. So I'm just going to go around and let's find my center. So find my center for my chin to about right here. I'm just going to give myself a point so I know where I'm going and I'll try to angle a little bit to give him a jaw. But I'll bring that in to my point. And same thing over here. So definitely turn your body, whatever you need to do to make it easier to draw these angles. Okay, so now I have his face framed in. Let's go ahead and we're going to have to draw his hair. So he has a lot of these uh, strands. So let's start up here above his eye. And I'm just going to go about right here. I'm just going to start and draw a curve that comes down. Then this part will come down with this big strand right in the center. So let's come about right here. One curve and then we'll bring it down right in the center and go right back up. This big main strand. And then right about here as well, we're going to just put another strand right here to frame his face. And then whatever space you have left, just finish it off. So let's go ahead and add some more details. I'm going to put in this. Complete this strand and then we can complete this strand up here. Okay, so then now that we have that framed in, let's come back to the sides and we're going to draw the strands on the sides. So using this as my curve, I'm going to come down to about right here. Go back up. Down and up. And same thing here. Another strand right here and go right back up. It's easier for my hands. So I'm just going to go this way. From there, let's go ahead and draw the top. So I'm just going to imagine this big oval. So nice and high. So I'll just say about right here. I'm just going to give myself, I'll start with this one little cowlick um, strand. So about right here, just draw one curve right on top. Then from there, I'm going to go out and nice and wide. So say about right here and bring it in. So same thing over here. Down and in. So 
so hopefully I'm not making it too complicated, but you just want to add in these strands wherever you can. So then whatever space you have here, just finish this off. And then there's another uh, layer at the back. So let's come right here. And we're going to come out. And getting overlapped. So this is the back. And we're just going to tuck it all in. So maybe here, another zigzag, and in. And same thing here. So here, maybe I'll just add a strand to change it up. Bring it down, and same thing once again. So just play around with the shape of his hair. You know, it's a bit complicated but it's very necessary, right, for his, to get his look. So right here, just add some strands. Okay, and I'm gonna add another one right here. And one more right here. So I just don't want to be in this, where his uh, neck is, but we just want to add in some strands right there. Then I'll come back in, add a little bit more detail. is pretty much it okay oh and his brow very important we're gonna come above his eye and right over his hair uh, let's say about right here just gonna draw a curve right over and I'll thicken it up so same thing on the other side very important brow and just thicken it up Okay, so now we're definitely finished and now let's go ahead and draw his body. So let's give him a little neck right here and about here and draw a little line and then I'm just gonna go ahead and connect it because he has his collar. So right in the center, I'm just gonna break it up two angles and come down and connect. There we got his collar in, and then from this collar is where we're going to start to come out to draw his shoulder. Come out, and about right here as well. Then let's see here. Let's kind of find his armpit area. So say about here and here. And we're just going to angle out a little bit. So now we know this is his area we're going to work with. So let's come up here. We're just going to finish this off for his jacket and let's bring this down a little bit more and let's work on this part right here so I'm going to come into this area and about here and we're going to go straight down so kind of like his jacket area so just work about right here come straight down and here draw a curve and then from here, we're going to draw this part of his jacket. And connect, and then his tie. Right inside. And then now from here, we can go ahead and separate it out. So right here, we angle out. So just take a look and say, um, about right here, right underneath about here, I'm going to go ahead and draw his waist. So I'm just going to add two curves right there. So I know where I'm working with and let's bring this down a little bit more. Come down to about right here, draw a little angle. And this is where his legs are going to start. So then I know kind of where his jacket's going to go. So about right there. Go ahead and connect. There. And then let's finish his pants right here. So his shorts, so I'm gonna go down. Just say about right there. Come out right here and connect. So same thing on the other side. 
there so slowly working down and then now let's go ahead and draw his legs so just gonna have them nice and simple coming out so work on this side first about right there and now that I have this part in I'm gonna come to about right here and I'm going to stop and draw a curve for his shoe give it a little angle and then just curve it out and connect at the bottom. So we just want his legs stuck in this shoe that has this little part that sticks out and then right here and just give a little curve. And he does have these socks about right here. I'll add a curve. So same thing on the other side. And once again same thing. Curve out. connect there and his socks okay so then now we can go ahead and draw his arms so he has these short sleeves about right here and in so same thing over here connect and then his hands so nice and simple I'm just gonna have them to the sides we want his hands about right here, so let's come to about right here. And in this area, I'm just going to draw a thumb and then put out some fingers. And you can add a little one on the back. So same thing on this side. Just make sure my fingers are about the same. thinner as we come down and then pop out the fingers and another one in the back there so we have his hands in and now for some finally some details um, make some pockets on his jacket right here another pocket right here angle and right here add a line and here as well just two lines and you can add some on his socks as well if you like or you can do that when you're coloring so it's not so black <laughs> but that is pretty much it for my drawing of Luca here from Inquisitor Master. I really hope you love how he turned out and that helped you draw him fun and easy. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.